So I'm going to give you some overview on how to design a training plan specific for you and archery. Now, in the past, many people have asked me, hey, Jake, how many arrows do you shoot a day? And I always answer, it depends on the day. Anywhere from 55 arrows to 400 arrows a day. And they look at me confused. And, you know, then I have to explain, well, I don't just shoot a set amount of arrows every single day. I use a process that is called periodization. Now, periodization is essentially the ramping up and down of volume and intensity in a specific cyclical fashion to be able to predict a peak in the future. So I'm gonna give you an overview on how periodization works, and then I'm gonna give you a great resource that you can tap into on how to design a training plan specific for you. You're watching the Jake Kaminsky YouTube channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Jake Kaminsky. I'm a two-time Olympic silver medalist in the sport of archery. Uh, I'm working to make this channel a great resource to all types of archery. So if you haven't by now, hit the subscription button and the notification bell. That way you're notified every time a new video is uploaded. Pumping out tons of content lately and you don't want to miss out. Now, while I lived at the Olympic Training Center in Chula Vista, California, I had a lot of people that were experts in their field of training at my disposal to help make me a better archer. The one thing that I really attribute to my success and continued success once I left the Olympic Training Center is using something called periodization. Now, uh, I talked with the sports performance program and learned that every other sport in the world, with the exception of archery, uses something called periodization to uh, develop their training plans and to peak at events that they choose. Over the last several years that I was shooting, just about the last four years that I was shooting, I specifically used periodization every single day, every training day, and before every tournament, and could predict when I would peak. So I would select which tournaments were most important to me and basically plan to peak at those events. Now, what is a peak? A peak is essentially a moment of time or a window that you will be able to shoot at potentially your highest level. That means everything, all the stars have essentially aligned to allow you to shoot at your highest score possible, as long as you do your job, of course. This isn't like an end-all be-all and it's not a super secret seance that allows you to shoot the highest scores possible. You still have to do your job, but it allows you and gives you the tools and puts your body in a position to be ready to perform at its highest level. So the age-old method of saying shooting 300, 400, 500, 200, whatever, how many arrows you shoot every single day, that is not going to be optimal for your performance at archery tournaments. Now, you can't always shoot your best at every single tournament. Ultimately, with the plan that I'm going to give you, you will still do okay at most events, but the most important events like nationals, the Olympic Games, Olympic trials, etc., whatever event is most important to you, you can develop a training plan to peak at that event. So all of this information that I'm going to give you and going to overview with you is found in this book that my wife and I wrote. It's called Training for Archery, and it has everything in it that you need to know about designing your own specific training plan, including periodization. There's also a few other things in there, uh, including some overview on strength training and how to apply that to your game as well as self-care, so how to prevent injury or how to deal with potential injuries or sorenesses that you're dealing with at a specific time. There are also some uh, dietary guidelines that I liked to use while I was competing, as well as some supplementation to ultimately just round out your entire archery plan. Uh, you can find this book in the links, some links in the description below. It's found on my website, as well as I'll put a link to Amazon in case you're an Amazon Prime member and want it quicker. Disclaimer, that is an Amazon affiliate link. So if you do click on that, I get a percentage from that click. And I also do get a percentage of anything you buy within 24 hours as well. So if you're doing just your normal everyday Amazon shopping, you're helping this channel out and allowing me to produce more free content for everybody. So thank you for that. So yeah, if you have, if you haven't by now, I would highly suggest grabbing the Training for Archery book. It's got a whole lot of uh, information and shares a lot of details that I'm not going to cover in this video quite yet. Maybe down the line, I'll cover a bit more in detail and give you a bit more tools. 
Um, but if I did, it'll turn into a whole series on its own because it, there is a lot of information to cover. Something that my wife and I both pride ourselves on and you'll find in just about all these videos is I cut through the fluff. I don't beat around the bush. I just give you the information. You know, and that's what this book is about. It's rather thin and rather short, but it's a great manual to pick up as a resource to just find out the information without being inundated with a whole bunch of backstory and a lot of side stories and ultimately just boring you to death. So this is just going to give you the tools that you need and allow you to peek at an event that you choose. Okay, so I'm going to use this whiteboard and draw you some uh, diagrams to basically understand what periodization is and how it works exactly. So I'm gonna draw a baseline. So this line represents your everyday ability to shoot archery or your energy level for the day. You know, if you don't do anything different any day and you always do the same thing, you're always gonna be right on that line, right? But as you start loading your system, as you start training or practicing, shooting more arrows, running, lifting weights, whatever, your energy level or your availability to have energy is going to go down. So I'm gonna use two different colors to kind of give you an example of uh, two different things. The blue will be your uh, workload and the green will be your energy level. So what happens is, so if this is plus and this is minus, along this line is time, and it could be broken down in days or whatever you want to use. I'm just going to give you a brief overview and then I'll break it down into different segments as we go along. So as I work hard one day, I can either continue to work hard and always shoot the same amount of arrows all day every day, but what happens is your available energy will go down directly inverse how much workload you're putting in. So your energy level will just always be like this. You're never going to come back up if you're continuing to work the same all day, every single day, and not changing it. You'll get better, but you won't have an ability to peak, essentially. If you do what I am suggesting, which is periodization, we're going to ramp up and down the volume and intensity in a cyclic fashion to produce a peak. So if this is, we're going to do by days. So these are days, all right? or time, whatever you want to go by. So on day one, I'm going to shoot a fair amount of arrows, okay? Then on day two, I'm going to reduce my training load. Day three is going to be very high. Day four is going to be very low. Day five is back up. And then day six is lower. And then I take off on day seven. So then day eight, I'm up about the same as day one back down for nine, back and up for 10. So this is just gonna kind of progress. So this would be a week to here, and then this is starting the next week. So what happens with your energy level, <clears throat> it's going to go down because you have increased the training load. So it's gonna go down, and then it's going to wanna come back up because you've reduced your training load. However, the next day you really train it hard, so it's going to come down a whole lot. But this recovery day, it's going to come up a lot more because you're recovering to then be back down a little bit and then it's going to recover a whole lot on the day you take off. And so it should stay up here until this day where you work harder again, comes up and down again. Okay, so you can see how this is going to ramp up and down inverse, your energy level is going to ramp up and down inverse of your uh, workload. Now there is going to be a delay here. It isn't always a one for one. There is a lot of different things included in this training plan because there's something called a micro cycle and a macro cycle. A micro cycle is a very small period of time. It may be a week or maybe a month, depending on how micro or macro you're looking. If you're looking at an event a year out, a micro cycle is going to be pretty much in a month. Um, there is also another micro cycle within that micro cycle of the week and then days as well. So there's different ways to approach this. A macro cycle may be four months, it may be 12 months, or maybe 15 months, depending on which event you're looking to peak at. And all of this information is overviewed for sure in that book. So you really can learn more in detail about these things. Again, I'm just going to give you a brief overview in this video. So that's essentially your brief overview as to what is happening. So essentially there's your energy level and if you work really hard, your energy goes down, but it wants to rebound as you bring your energy back 
or your workload back down. So all we want to do is we want to play this game to produce the highest available energy, the highest available potential to succeed at a given time. But it takes a lot of time to figure out when to plan those things. So that was a, a micro cycle within days. Now I'm going to give you some weeks as well. So as this line progresses, this would be week one, two, three, and four. And week one, you're going to be here as far as how many arrows you're shooting. Week two goes up, week three goes up, and week four comes down below your baseline, even lower. So that is a recovery week. So then as a, a week as a whole, your energy level is directly opposite as well. And during that fifth week, maybe, you're going to be higher up uh, depending on your individual delay. So some of you may have heard something called um, tapering in the sport. So you essentially lessen your volume and intensity before you compete. That way you have more energy while you're competing. That works and it is good, but you get a lot more benefit using periodization instead of always shooting 300 arrows, 300 arrows, 300 arrows, etc. As you're as all week long um, and every single week and every single month, you're not challenging your body. It is not. It is going to plateau, and essentially, you will not get any better once you get to your maximum peak. But when you vo ramp volume and intensity up and down, you can trick your body, and you can actually gain a lot more benefit to training this way. So, for example, so essentially, what you need to do within periodization is you need to figure out your maximum ability, your maximum amount of arrows that you can put in without having really loss without having too much loss from that heavy workload. So for me, I'm just gonna tell you, so on my heavy week and within my heavy day of the heavy week, my maximum amount of arrows that I could ever sustain was 400 arrows. If I did more than 400 arrows within one day, I found that I really just didn't recover. I either injured myself, developed overuse injuries like tendonitis, things like that. So I found that 400 arrows on the heaviest day of the heaviest week was as the maximum that I could potentially do. And so um, once I figured that out, I could tell you exactly how many arrows that I would shoot every single day um, in order to peak at a particular event. Say if I wanted on week five, week five was the event that I wanted to peak at, on week three would be the heaviest day that I would shoot. And then I'd have a recovery week the week after. So I would shoot 250 arrows a recovery week. And then the week before the heavy week, I'd shoot 350 max and then 300 max on the first week. So that would be my maximum amount of arrows. Now within each week, there are days of the week. And on my heaviest day, I would shoot Wednesday would be my heaviest day. So that would be 400, right? And then on Thursday, I'd be 90. Friday would be 300. Tuesday would be probably in the uh, 325 range and 275 on Monday and then probably a 120 arrow day on Saturday. I would be off on Sunday. So as you can see, I'm ramping my volume up and down cyclically in the micro cycle and the macro cycle. So in the quarters, you can also do the same thing. This could be your uh, heavier week and then slightly. So you can essentially see within your quarters, you can also ramp up and down to then peak potentially at a fifth quarter or wherever you are. You can reverse engineer this uh, with the plan that's in the book and use it to your advantage. After years of plotting my scores and how I felt while I was shooting and my ability to shoot not only high scores, but also be very attentive, be very driven, and not be overworked, I found that five days after my heavy load, I would peak. Now, I would shoot not exactly the best for the next few days, the next four days after uh, a heavy load, but on that fifth day, I would shoot a whole lot better than the majority of the rest of the days. And I would also sustain a peak for quite a few days after that. So about three to four days. So what I would do is I would plan when and how to shoot how many arrows at specific times to peak at a specific event. This is a really, really complicated situation to try to explain to you without giving you exact examples and without uh, working with you individually. 
So that's where it's really broken down in the book in a really easy to follow format on how to do everything. So you essentially find your maximum volume of arrows you can do, and then it tells you to take percentages of that volume and where to insert it when you are training. Now, this works for people who are shooting three, four, five, six, and seven days a week. Um, not that I ever recommend shooting seven days a week, um, but there's tools in there in the book to give you the ability to design a training plan specific to you and what you can and cannot do. This was really advantageous for me to use while I was competing, especially when I was training on my own and I didn't have other teammates to push me and things like that because ultimately, when you're training on your own, you need to have responsibility for your own training plan. And just going out there and shooting the same amount of arrows all day, every day at the same distance and the same type of thing is really not very fun. And it be can become very monotonous. And ultimately, you're not going to perform the best you can because you're going to become so bored. This keeps everything fresh. And because you know when you're going to peak or when you're really hoping to predict that peak, it allows you to push through those heavy days. Those heavy days are the worst. They don't feel good, but look at how many arrows I shot that next day. 90 arrows. After a heavy day of, or after a heavy week of 400 arrows on Wednesday, Thursday I'd only shoot 90 arrows. So I had a light at the end of the tunnel the next day. And then also, after this week, because I would have a recovery week, on this day, I would shoot 55 arrows on that recovery week. So it was even sweeter the next week. So you always have ups and downs and peaks and valleys to work through to keep you interested and excited. Ultimately, this will give you an advantage over your opponents and it will keep things fresh for you so that way you don't get burned out during your training sessions. Thanks for watching and thank you to my Patreon supporters. If you want to become a Patreon supporter or check out books, apparel, and some seminar info, head to jkaminski.com and uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you again.